Okay, so you're almost through this assignment, like understanding what it's about. Um, now we're going to talk about how you shut this down. You've done your field experience now. You've hopefully taken some notes about what you saw and what you thought about what you saw so that you have something to write about in this last section. So I've actually gone into Course In and I've gone into the Dropboxes section. Inside of there is a Dropbox called Field Experience Log and Reflection. And this is where the final wrap-up materials related to the field experience will be submitted by April 20th of this semester, of the, the spring semester. And if you're watching this in a later semester, you need to go in there and look at your course plan and figure out when your field experience log and reflection are due. Okay? So, back to the field experience page. So, what are the things you, you submit? One is the timesheet, which we've talked about above. Um, remember, on the timesheet, you have to log at least five hours, assuming you've done the course embedded, the five hours I've embedded within the course. If you have not done those five hours, then you have to do an additional, but it needs to add up to 10 or more hours. It needs to be completed uh, with uh, the, the date, the time, the location, and the signature of the person, with the exception of the ones embedded in my course. I know whether you did those, so you can leave those blank. Um, and if you didn't do those, you could indicate that on your timesheet, that, that because you didn't do one of my course embedded field experiences, that you're going to go, that you went ahead and did extra. That might help me. I would appreciate that if you did that, but um, not necessary. I'll figure it out. Um, I want you to submit that timesheet as a Word document or PDF. It needs to be legible. I need to be able to pick that up and know what I'm reading, okay? So there's a couple ways to do that. One is to scan it um, and turn it into a PDF. The other way is to and, and you could scan it, and let's say you don't know how to turn it into a PDF with a scanner, we can turn it into a JPEG or some other kind of picture file, and then you can copy that picture and paste it into a Word document and submit that, okay? So you could also use a smartphone, hold your smartphone very steadily over your picture, make sure it's framed really well, and um, take a picture, maybe turn on your flash so I can read it, and hold it steady, because some people have done this, and it's like they must be shaking the, the camera, or maybe they're on a moving train when they do, and it's all blurry, and I can't accept that, so it needs to be very legible, so just hold it very steady, make sure the light is good, and that I can see what you're, you're showing me, and that works too. You know, just frame it really well. Then you can email that picture to yourself, then right-click copy the picture, and paste it into a Word document, then save that document, upload that into the Dropbox. So that's another really easy way to submit your field experience timesheet electronically. The other piece of this is that you're going to do a field experience reflection of between four and six pages about those five hours that you that you um, did your observation. So yeah, that's that should be made clear. The paper is not about the five hours that are embedded in the course because you've already worked on those. You've already written about those and thought about those. The paper is about the five hours that you did that I did not provide in the course. Okay? So part one is about what happened. So those things that you saw, um, who were you with, did you have any responsibilities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's the concrete kind of factual stuff. And then part two is your reflection about what happened. So look at my guiding questions, see if you can answer those. I want you to focus on one or two educational issues that you saw in your context. I want you to sort of talk about those. Um, I want you to reflect on your chosen career and what ways the field experience either supported or weakened that choice for you and explain that. And just overall, what do you felt what you felt you gained from it? So read the instructions carefully if you could, because in these videos I try not to read every word to you and tell you everything. Uh, hopefully you you'll go in and read in more depth in a little bit. I do give you a paper template if you're like, I mean if it's easy for you, you can download this template. Um, it just helps you set up your page and you need to change the semester date because it's probably not accurate, but you can, you can figure that out. It's just a quick template. If you are using words that are not your own, please cite those. You can sort of informally cite. Um, let, let me put it this way, not informally cite. I want you to cite using the guidelines in the Hewitt Writing Center. Let's put it that way. So at this moment, as I'm, as I'm making this video, the Hewitt Writing Center doesn't exist. It doesn't have any information in it. But by the time you get to this point, it should have some guidelines in it. So um, just make sure you always sort of give credit where credit is due in your writing. You, know, you put quotes around words that are not your own. 
if somebody else has an idea that you like, that's great. You can talk about it in your paper, but you give credit to that person or to that group. And then it gets a little iffy where sometimes there's common knowledge about certain things and you're not sure who who is the original source and that's okay too, but um, let's, let's try to cite where the ideas are not original to you and you know it, okay? All right, there's a field experience FAQ on the bottom. Uh, it may have some useful information, but that's about it. I hope that this has, these videos have helped clarify this assignment. Thank you.